Cardinals hosting the A's, and the A's are plus 170 on the money line. The Cardinals are minus 203. The over-under, eight and a half runs. The A's getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Cardinals laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, they'd have to win this game by a minimum of two runs. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. And if you're going to bet overnight, I suggest you select the pitcher. Well, just like when I do when I make these picks, they are based off of the pitchers that you see listed above me. Neither one of these guys pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The A's are 2-8 and eight as a team in Sears' last 10 starts or 10 appearances. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched and 5.2 strikeouts per game in those games. In his last five starts, they are 1-4. They've lost his last two. The over is 4-1 and one in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of 3, and he's averaging five innings. Four earned runs striking out six, two earned runs striking out five, one earned run striking out five, five earned runs striking out one, and then three earned runs striking out seven. For the Cardinals, they are two and eight as a team in McCullough's last 10 starts. They've lost his last four starts. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 3.6 strikeouts per game in those games. They are one and four in his last five. He's got an ERA of 2.6. The under has hit in his last two games, although the over is three and two in his last five starts. Two earned runs striking out five, two earned runs striking out seven, one earned run striking out one, five earned runs striking out three, and then three earned runs striking out three. He has pitched against the A's. It was way back in 2014, so you can do with that information what you will. But uh, yeah, they lost that game, but that's almost a decade ago, so I really don't think it matters all that much. Head-to-head, -head, the home team's on a two-game winning streak. The A's are on a six-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5 five and five in their last 10 meetings, and the A's are 8-2 and two against the Cardinals in their last 10 meetings. The favorite is on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. There's only been one one-run game in their last 10 meetings. The over-under is 5-5 five and five in their last 10, and the under 8.5 runs specifically is 6-4. and four. Now, the last series that they played against each other was in 2019. They played a 2-2, two and two, and the A's won all of those games 7-3, 2-0, 8-3, and 4-2. It just makes you think, like, how long ago were the A's actually relevant versus not being relevant? The A's are on a three-game losing streak. They are 1-3 and three in their last four, 3-7 and seven in their last 10, and they are another one of the teams today that had a monumental collapse in the latter innings of the game and ultimately losing it. Beating the Rangers 2-0, then losing 8-2, 3-2, and then 8-7 to, to the Nationals today. And I believe they were up 7-2 seven, seven, or 7-3 seven, in this game, and then they fell apart in the 8th and ninth innings. For the Cardinals, they are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 3-1 and one in their last 4. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. Beating the Rays 6-4, beating the Rays 5-2, then losing 12-8 to the Royals, and then beating the Royals 5-4. I'm torn because this is one of those games where it's do you take the team that's dominated the other team, or do you take the, the home team with the pitcher who has a slightly better ERA than the other pitcher? I'm going to roll with the A's here. I understand that they fell apart. Actually, you know what? I'm going to talk myself out of this one, and I'm going to take the Cardinals because I don't think the Cardinals played today and they had the day off. So I'm going to give the edge to the Cardinals. I'll take the Cardinals with the money line, the Cardinals laying the runs, and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.